was One of the prominent Rosh Yeshiva, Rabbi Dov Lando, Rabbi Shiva Slobodka, has told his Talmud and his students not to provoke any Chilonim, any secular Jews here in Israel during Ben Azmanim, the period now uh, three weeks off from Yeshiva, um, even if they're provoked by the secular people, especially now where it's a contentious time here in Israel over the proposed judicial reform. Um, as a man, as and these, these boys are men, technically, and they're over 20 years old, most of them. Um, you have to fight back. I wouldn't provoke them, but if they say something to you, I would answer back. Much like I say about Ron DeSantis and his approach to Donald Trump taking shots at him, he has to show that he's a man. And if Donald Trump is going to take one below the belt, he has to fight back. He has to be a man, fight back. I don't care whether you're Haredi or secular. If someone provokes you, you got to stand up for yourself and give it back to them as a man. That's just the way the world works. President Joe Biden is meddling in Israeli affairs again. He has urged Benjamin Netanyahu not to go through with the vote on this coming Monday over the proposed judicial reform, which is diluted from what it used to be. Uh, anyone who lives here in Israel and has studied what is going on real, realizes that Israel's main weakness in democracy is the supreme power of the Supreme Court over uh, the coalition, over the government. Um, Joe Biden obviously seems not to care about this or he doesn't know about this. First of all, he shouldn't interfere. And second of all, he should be looking at his own democracy in America and it's really divided. His slogan was build back better. Uh, something about being together also. He says we're united at his first address. They're not united at all. The biggest split ever in America between Democrats and Republicans going on right now and Joe Biden is partially responsible for that. So I think It'd be more appropriate if he looks at his own country's democracy first. In Lionel Messi's debut in American soccer, he scored the winning goal in the 94th minute for Inter Miami on a free kick, um, which is not a, a penalty kick. It was a free kick from pretty far away. He had an amazing shot to beat the goalie. Um, this is in stark contrast to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo went to Saudi Arabia for more money, but you haven't heard too much about Ronaldo doing anything. I don't know how many goals he scored or his impact in Saudi Arabia. It could be just the national or the international uh, news doesn't pick up on soccer in Saudi Arabia. Uh, Messi took less money, went to America, but he's dominating the American game. And, you know, America is basically the central of the media world. Um, he's on a much bigger stage. So yes, he took less money, but <clears throat> he's getting a lot more uh, not notoriety. And I think that's any athlete would want to be on the biggest stage possible. I think at this stage of a career, the USA is the biggest stage possible for him. Although the S&P 500 has been up around 17% in the past year, which is tremendous, um, people who study the stock market say that without the seven major technology stocks, including Microsoft, Google, uh, Amazon, etc., um, and chip stocks, NVIDIA, AMD, uh, basically this rally would be around 4% as well as 17%. Um, I think the market is way, way overpriced, way bloated. Uh, many insiders say that the stock market is due for a correction. I wouldn't say a crash, but for a correction. Even the tech stocks are heavily overpriced. Microsoft that are on $350, NVIDIA $450 a share. Um, it's due for a correction, and the only reason it's doing it is because AI is new. A lot of these tech companies are getting into AI early, but once the novelty of AI wears off, I, I expect also to be a correction in the overly priced stock market. The new Barbie movie has been a resounding success in the box office. In its first weekend, it grossed close to $300 million against a budget of around $145 million dollars. Yes, they did spend over $100 million on marketing, but I think that's really the key why the movie's been successful. I've heard some really great reviews about the movie. I haven't seen the movie, some negative reviews about the movie. Um, but I think what really is getting people to see it is the marketing, and specifically all the pink that you see. Whenever you see a trailer or something related to the movie, you'll see a lot of pink. Women are attracted to pink, and men are also attracted to pink because it conjures up in their mind images, racy thoughts or images about women. Um, and I think that's why it's been such a resounding success. The film, I guess, is average or a little above average, but it's the marketing where they really scored big and eventually it could grow maybe after after being released from the movies, going to digital, could be close to a billion dollars.